Most at home on a racetrack, but today they're going to try out sand volleyball. Why not? It's at Washington Park. Joining me are three really nice guys, drivers Austin and Ty Dillon and Brian Scott. Thank you all for coming in. We really appreciate it. But the question is, why are you playing volleyball today at 1 o'clock at Washington Park? Somebody help me out. Well, uh, we're pretty much up here to, to promote the, the race at Kentucky coming up and, and then also do some cool media events and, and get to play uh, some beach volleyball. I mean, why not? It can't be bad, <laughs> I mean, right? To sit around and play around in the park, right? Or yeah, roll around in the sand. It's a it's a good excuse for a day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do, do you have to train when you race? I mean, do you? Do, what do you do to train? Is there training involved? I mean, they're practicing, obviously, right? Yeah, sure. There's, there's a lot of training that goes into it. We all, um, you know, we're probably one of the people don't know. We probably lose most weight in, in our sport uh, playing what we do and, and staying in the race cars. You know, the, the temperatures in our cars are are up over 100 and 15, 20 degrees at certain times during the summer. So we've been on a 17-week stretch in the Nationwide Series right now, and it's been some really hot days. So staying hydrated and, and then also uh, conditioning is, is really big. i, I got to say, it, you must love coming to the Kentucky Speedway. You're going to come back in September. Are all of you coming back in September? Yep, we'll okay. yep. um, and you have a good reason to like it. Yeah, I got my first nationwide win here earlier this year, and and uh, you know it's it's fun to come back and be the the defending race champion and and trying to defend the title. But I got guys like Brian that are going to be out here uh, trying Car to take it from 11, me. Car number eleven, right, Brian? Car number eleven. That's you. That's me. Yep, I, I drive the the Dollar General Toyota. It's yellow. You can't miss it. It's probably one of the most obvious cars out on the racetrack. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's. Uh, we didn't we didn't run so well here earlier in the year. Uh, we blew a motor, so we're looking forward to getting back and hopefully having a better run. Yeah, well, th I mean that's the thing. You know, you live to fight another day, which is wonderful. So that now maybe Kentucky will be a great track for you coming up in September. As long as we can beat the the number three here. <laughs> well, and the thing is, so you're kind of new on the circuit. You're in the truck series, yes. right? That's yeah. correct. Yep. Ty, it's <laughs> difficult to keep all these names straight. Ty. Um, you want to tell us about your parentage? I mean, you have a you have a heritage, the two of you, in this sport that's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, we do. Um, we're fortunate enough to have the opportunity. Our grandfather's Richard Childress, who owns our race team and also owns three uh, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series teams, and uh, we've we've been fortunate to be to born into a situation where we've had the opportunity to uh, drive race cars for not only a great car owner but our grandfather. And um, just, does that give you an in on the on the team? I think, right? I, I think so a little bit. You know, we've been around the sport since we've been born. You know, we've been in a company and, and knowing how things work um, from a young age. So I think it gives us a little bit different aspect to, to the things that go on at the race shack and also at the race shop. So um, it's been very helpful to our careers and um, just uh, excited to have the opportunity to come back here to Kentucky and and hopefully capitalize on on Austin's good fortune last last race here and hopefully our truck will run real well. Was there ever a doubt in any of your minds? Probably not in yours, but I would love to know. Growing up, I'm going to be a, a truck driver or a race driver or something. Did you all know? Well, I actually didn't even have the thought until I was 18. Uh, I, I started when I was 11 or 12 doing it on dirt and doing it for fun. And uh, I always thought I was going to go to college and, you know, be like a normal business person. And then this uh, crazy thought to move to North Carolina from Idaho and pursue racing got into my head. And then it just hasn't stopped. There's still this that voice there. It's still there. It's still just planting a seed. All you guys, you know, here's the thing. You do want people to come and visit you today, right? Down at 1 o'clock, Washington Park, you got a half hour to get down there. Yeah, You'll be hanging out and having fun with folks, right? Planning on trying to, to spike a, a ball in April Ross. I don't know if I can get over the net. You know, NASCAR drivers are, are not real tall other than Brian. Brian's kind of tall yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. So are you on a team? Are you playing against, who are you playing against? April Ross, you know, the silver medalist right? this yeah. year in, in uh, Olympics. So we're looking forward to it. We've been tweeting, talking a little trash to her. You can follow all of us on Twitter. I'm at Austin Dillon 3. And this is at B. B. Scott, Scott Racing. Racing. I'm at Ty Dillon, so mine's pretty easy. Yeah. Well, that yeah, you're easy. <laughs> and so, all right, I'll get all of those, and I'll make sure I, I tweet out to you guys that what their hashtags and handles are so that you can all have fun with them, too. Yeah. It's 1 o'clock down at Washington Park today. Have a great time. Enjoy the weather while we still have nice weather for the next day or so. And good, we hope you guys come back and see us again in September. Good luck oh, to all of you. Yeah. So good luck. And are you going to come out to the race? Oh, I, will, I will be there. If you guys want to there, I'm there. I'm right. down there. You, you already told us you don't know a lot about racing, so it would be know. a good opportunity to <laughs> maybe teach you. I would love to learn to love it. How's that? <laughs> yeah. you, ch you guys show Take me. Take it for a pace car ride. You know what? That could be very dangerous, but I would be so excited about that. That would be fun. There you go. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank and you. we'll see you down at Washington Park today.